Hi folks! Today I would like to tell you what session hijacking is. As an example, I will use one of my old projects called Corp Chat App. As you can see, after logging in, the session application saves the session key to the session storage of the web browser. Also, modern web applications usually use local storage to save some settings during sessions. For example, user interface settings and other stuff. A session key used to identify your session on the server side, so you can do some cool things with your own data on the client side. Let's go to the network monitoring tab and create a new chat user. Well, looks great. Now let's look at the first query and find out what happens. Here we can see usual post query, but if we open the payload tab, we can see all the data collected from the web form and the session key itself. As you can see, this is the same session key that was presented in the session storage. So. Let's delete the account we just created and check what our browser sent to the server side. It's the same session key. Now take a look at the image to get a better understanding of what's going to happen right now. I've already created a new user account and now we're going to delete that account as an attacker from another client not from our web application. I will use Postman to make a POST request to the server. As you can see, I have already prepared a request with a payload, but without a valid session key it doesn't work. But if I can somehow get the session key from your browser, I can take control of your own data in the application and even delete anything I want. Attackers are using many different ways to get session keys from your browser these days. So stay tuned and protect your data. Goodbye.